Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Looking at natural gas, so we had that clear support of 328 and a clear downtrend resistance line that broke for the bulls. Still very, very choppy, and natural gas is not friendly for day trading unless you're playing with large capital and scalping, which means really short-term trades. And I'll show you the five-minute chart here in just a minute with how much back and forth we're seeing, but you can see it on the hourly. We saw it yesterday. Big green, red, green, red, and same thing, just all back and forth. The overall trend does favor the bulls with that break of the lower high pattern to the upside. So we're looking at 336 resistance. The high of this move is 3367. And we got up to 3365. So it is a little bit of a double top at this point. And we could be looking for a potential top fishing play where you would exit a bearish position if 3367 were to break. We'll have to see where we set up for tomorrow morning. But definitely that is a potential play. Checking the four hour chart to see where we stand. Bull still in control. Technicals here are fine. Cooling off on the four hour RSI, which is a good sign for the bulls inside candlesticks. Multiple four hour candlesticks in a row. So we can watch to see where this recent one breaks and we'll either get a bullish or bearish break. But again, that will occur overnight, but always worth watching to see how it plays out. So when we get opportunity during live trading, we can remember historically what has happened in the past daily time frame, bearish reversal candlestick, not confirmed, holding up well, holding that support down at 328 and clear resistance up in the 360s, a little bit of a double top, as I pointed out, or the 336s, not 360s. And checking the weekly, we have the inventory report tomorrow again. So don't forget that. But the bulls are in full control on the weekly. Look at the volume, already surpassing last two weeks volume. And we still have two trading days left to go, including the inventory report. That shows a lot of volume. So ideal scenario for the bulls tomorrow is to break 3367. And if that occurs, we'll be looking at the next daily resistance, which would put us looking at, I would be looking up here at, three four five five three four seven as the next resistance level and let's put a line there to not forget it and if it is a bearish reaction we'll look to fill some of these gaps three two two three is a gap to fill so look at this five minute chart on you guys this is what i mean by no clear direction this is more of a swing trade if you're unless you're playing with big capital and you're scalping here let's say you made a bear entry at 3570 and then got out at 34. Well, there is, you know, you can play a thousand shares. You'll get some nice gains to be had here. So it's possible, but you can see back and forth, lower high, higher low, back and forth, choppy action, no clear trend on this five minute time frame today. But again, a thousand shares, and you would be making pretty decent, well, a few hundred dollars. Either way, up to you. But personally, it looks like natural gas is for swing trading just by watching this action. So we'll see what the inventory report brings tomorrow, and we'll check back in. Watch that double top of 336.7. See you soon.